Thank you for visiting the Sumitomo Electric Group booth. Today we would like to introduce the latest advanced ITS-related technologies being researched and developed by Sumitomo Electric. Beginning in 1967, Sumitomo Electric was one of the first to start work on a traffic control system. And today, Tokyo and most large cities in Japan use some kind of traffic control system. Sumitomo Electric has been instrumental in Japan's advanced traffic control and is now planning to expand its work overseas. Now we would like to explain how roads and vehicles are connected with ITS. But unfortunately, I'm not very experienced in this field, so I am going to request the help of someone a little more knowledgeable. So please, let's give a welcome. Professor Telematics. Oh, hello everyone. If you're talking ITS, leave it to me. I'll answer any question. In that case, our first question is, how do roads and vehicles communicate with each other? That's very easy. Let's explain using a telematic system with probe cars as an example. First of all, in a probe car, system information such as vehicle speed, engine status, etc., flows through the wiring harness and gathers in the junction block from which it can be transmitted using a mobile phone. Oh, so that means that running cars are transmitting information. But to where is that information being transmitted? To a ground system called the telematic center. In that center, based upon the accumulated information, we can predict the traffic conditions in the near future. From those predicted traffic conditions, a high-performance machine calculates the most suitable driving routes and then transmits those results back to the car. I see. So this time we transmit information from the center to the car. But how do they predict future traffic conditions? That's a good question. Well, let's see how it's all put together. Within this telematic center, there are many such engines. Engine? The same engines as in our cars? No, no, not those engines. This engine is very important software installed in the system of the telematic center. Just like in this schematic view, all functional units are divided based on their respective functions. For example, the function of probe processing engines is to take the trajectory information transmitted in from each vehicle by wireless communication and match it to a map database. In this way, they are able to generate new traffic information on each road. Furthermore, the route search engine then takes the traffic information for each road produced by the probe processing engine and the traffic jam prediction engine and uses it to calculate the best route. In fact, in a way, one can say that these group engines move at the center of the telematic center similar to the way an engine works for a car. I see. I understand the system, but how do these engines benefit us? For example, there are roads that are empty now, but which will be crowded this evening. The system can easily direct us down an alternative course that avoids such roads. And so we can avoid getting stuck in the office rush hours in big commercial areas. That would definitely be a big help but I still don't really get what is just so amazing about the information coming from the telematic centers. Okay, then let's do a comparison between two courses where in one case we have used the telematics probe information and in the other case where we haven't. The green course is the recommended route with probe information. The traveling time is greatly reduced compared with the red course, which is made without probe information. Five hours faster? Great! So the reduced traveling time means lower CO2 emissions and is more environmentally friendly, isn't it? Exactly! And the probe information stored at the telematic center can be used to relieve traffic jams too. Sumitomo Electric began working on traffic management systems in 1967. We have supplied it to many cities in Japan, including the capital, Tokyo. We really are a pioneer in road traffic infrastructure systems. We are currently developing technology to apply the probe information to traffic management systems. Wonderful! 
but tell me how the probe vehicle information is used in traffic management infrastructure. Currently, traffic management systems use strategically located sensors to gather information and operate traffic signals effectively. But traffic information cannot be directly collected if sensors are not installed. This makes it difficult to monitor the length of traffic jams, which is one of the most important parameters for traffic signal control. I guess it isn't possible to install vehicle sensors everywhere. This is where probe information can be useful. For example, this information includes vehicle stopping data from which we can extrapolate the length of traffic jams. The result is that more intelligent traffic control can be realized. Accuracy depends on the percentage of vehicles with probes installed. Simulation results show that where the 10% or more of vehicles have probes installed, traffic jam length can be measured to an accuracy of 30 meters and CO2 emissions reduced by 8 to 14%. Really great! So installation costs can be kept down as we don't need large numbers of sensors on the roads. At Sumitomo Electric, our core competence in both traffic management and telematic systems gives us the ability to do this. With the use of such a telematic system to connect roads and cars, we can avoid congestion and decrease CO2 emissions while traveling, hence leading to a comfortable and eco-friendly ITS system. Yes, indeed. With this system, Sumitomo Electric Industries has made it possible for both sides, roads as well as vehicles, to contribute equally. We hope you all have understood Sumitomo Electric Industries' ITS solutions, researched and developed with the goal of creating a comfortable and eco-friendly automotive society.